Good afternoon. I'm smiling because <laughs> the wrinkles show less when you smile. But this video are it is actually um, is for people that probably have not come to this channel before. My channel has subscribers and views because of the movies that I have. But as far as coming and seeing about me or, you know, my life, I've got very few watchers. And that's okay. But, um... <sighs> I felt like very restricted over the last few years in what I could say or do um, on here because of a certain group of people that I have nothing to do with and I'm not going to let them hold me hostage anymore. I have nothing personal against anyone, but I don't really want to have anything to do with them. And I wanted this to be about, my original channel was a woman's channel, and part of that had to do with empowerment and, you know, um, things that happen in our life, anecdotes, uh, relationships, things that help other women. And um, I also did other things for a while there that were semi um well, they were biographical and silly and everything and funny and it was comedy. But now, I am going to tell a story and it is a true story. I have, um, back in the end of the summer, early fall, I started disclosing that I was having medical issues. I have not disclosed all of the multiple diagnoses that I have and all the serious things that I have wrong with me. I've hinted at a lot of it. Well, I don't even know how to start this. I'll start it like this. I not I am not really into reality TV. When The Bachelor first came out, like, oh, I think at least 20 years ago, I might have watched the first season. I think I watched part of the season where there was The Bachelorette, and it was this uh, beautiful young lady named Krista, and she ended up marrying a fireman. I forgot his name. They're still together. They have two beautiful uh, uh, young adult children, blah, blah, blah. Well, this year I started watching The Golden Bachelor. It was heavily advertised and it was geared towards older people. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. Let me watch that. And I enjoyed it. And as part of watching that, they introduced The Next Bachelor. And I said, well, what the hell? I get it free on my ABC app. Let me watch it. So I started watching it. And um, one of the characters, uh, the contestants, whatever you want to call them, the young ladies that stood out at the beginning was a young woman named Daisy, Daisy Kent. Blonde hair, very sweet. She had the first one-on-one -on -one date. And yes, it's a TV show, I know. I mean, I'm not in La La Land. But she had disclosed that she had a cochlear implant and that she had been ill for many years because she had Lyme disease. And this was a result of her having, you know, a serious case of Lyme disease. I don't know how long it took before they diagnosed it. So I was watching it and I said, you know, God bless her. She's coming on here and she's sharing a very personal story. And it's helping the rest of the world by sharing. So I'm watching it and I'm like, wow, you know, and then I'm seeing the different contestants. One of them had endometriosis. Another one talked about how her culture put a lot of responsibility on the oldest female. Um, you know, different things that they, these women were sharing that I felt were empowering. Um, even Maria told the story about how when she was a baby, a cement truck fell on the car and her mother had been injured. And the one that ended up getting engaged to him shared about her mother having cancer and passing away. So these women shared a lot of personal things that I think helped a lot of other people. So I'm watching all of this and you know, while the season is going on, I have all these different doctor's appointments. The primary care refers you to this one and that one. And you know, the blood test that she did initially showed some weird stuff. So therefore I'm sending you here, I'm sending you there. So on March 12th, I have an appointment as a new patient, once again, with a new type of specialist. 
and they took a lot of time with me and asked me a lot of questions and they didn't act like I was crazy. They listened to me. They made very thoughtful comments, asked very relevant questions. And then they sent me for extensive blood work where I think they took about a pint of blood. They took so many vials of blood and um, it was 17 separate and distinct blood tests because I checked the um, patient portal from my insurance company and I am a retired medical billing manager. So, I mean, I saw all the CPT codes and all of, you know, whatever. And what I did was I signed up for an app with the actual lab. There's two big labs up here, LabCorp and Quest. And I have an app and patient account with both of them because I have so many different doctors and they use both of those labs. They're both in network around here. So on March 12th, I go and they take all this blood, blah, 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 blah. On March 19th, I get an email in the afternoon, right? And it says, well, uh, if you log into your uh, patient portal through the app, the results of your blood work are in, but understand they have not yet been reviewed by your doctor. So I go and I log in and there were a lot of abnormalities, a lot. So I screenshotted everything that was abnormal and I proceeded to Google it, but I already had an idea. I go back to the doctor next week and I will be given an official diagnosis, but I tested positive for Lyme disease. Yeah, talk about a weird coincidence. And it even had the type, it had a weird name with a B. Um, and not only were they able to determine that I had Lyme disease, but that I've had it for a while because there's a titer in the blood that tells that it's not a new infection, but an old one. And I have multiple other diagnoses, and some of them do tie, tie in with Lyme disease, um, you know, being like a root cause. So now there's like another thing on the big pile of medical stuff. And um, I don't have time in my life for tomfoolery, for nonsense, for BS, for petty BS. Don't. My priority is me and me getting better, me taking care of myself to the point where I am telling my children, well, you know, it was a nice Easter. I cooked and did this and that but it's really not going to happen anymore because I am physically incapable of it. And financially, the bills keep coming in, even with good insurance, because there's things that insurance doesn't cover, plus co-pays, co-insurance, deductibles, blah, blah, blah. So what a coincidence. I'm watching Daisy Kent talking about her, her health challenges. And like just right after that, I find out, I myself have Lyme disease. Um, anyone out there, I guess that if you, you found me because you typed in the word Lyme disease, I will share, you know, some updates as to what's happening, but I can't really put in too many details because of like weirdo cyber stalkers and harassers and just like general, like weirdo people. Um, and, um, I'm trying to empower other women. And if people can't like deal with that, I can't control them. I can't control what you do, but I certainly can control what I do. So anyway, everyone, have the day that you deserve. Bye.